well, welcome back to the land of... Get out of the way, stun dogs. <laughs> Go f yourself. <laughs> Alrighty, so here's the deal as to what the f is going on. Old G Dale has a, uh, a parade going on tomorrow. And uh, I guess all the local businesses were throwing in uh, some kind of uh, float or whatever. Look at these bastards. Man. Oh. <coughs> Makes you thirsty for more beer drinking. But there's a bunch of local outfits there throwing uh, floats and stuff in the parade. And I figured, uh, well, what better way than taking Zip Ties and Body Supply's most iconic old fur and throwing her into the old parade there. What a name for a Canadian cooler, eh? Chili Moose. This one's for you, Mr. Gribble. I know what's wrong with it. It's a Ford. You know what they say Ford stands for, don't you? It stands for fix it again, Tony. You're thinking of a Fiat, Dale. 
Alrighty, so my thoughts for putting all this together was I was basically just going to take this dirty old commons dumpster and slap her on the back of uh, Clint Worthington, strap her all down nice and mint because we're going to be and riding around with the uh, peace officers and those are DOTs or the county mounted. Somebody that probably want to rip a feller a bunch of tickets. When the judge gets to you, boy, he's going to turn you every way but loose. So we're going to tie this old pile of shit down to the back of Cuns Worthington. That's no fucking problem. I got that dialed in. I can I can dial the old fucking ratchet boomer, even the snap boomers for fucking sakes. I can, uh, I can get her dialed in. The problem is, is the uh, getting her under the back of Cuns Worthington. Well, I don't know if you guys can tell on the camera here, but... Well, they stacked my sh about 5'11". I didn't know they stacked sh that high. 5'10", 5 5'11". 5 and this f***er's a little above titty, a little below collarbone here. And uh, she's f***ing high. Old Cunts Worthington, they, they stack these bed trucks pretty f***ing tall. So getting the old f***ing commons dumpster onto the back of this pile of is going to be a bit of an issue. I mean, if it was a f***ing sh old Dodge, you could just drive it up there and just f***ing winch it right over to live roll and say, f*** this. I'm, I'm reckoning that uh, that might hurt the old commons dumpster. So me and the fellers were were brainstorming and uh we figured uh man is this thing a piece of i can't help myself i think i need to red line it six oh. is this thing a piece of well, like I said, I've never worked on this engine, folks. It doesn't sound like there's hardly any of these engines out there still. There's probably a couple. Sounds like pretty much any engine would have been better off than this one. And... That is one big pile of shit. Yeah, like I was saying before the old squirrel fell out of the cage, the, uh, we're going to take the old deck over trailer here drive old commons dumpster onto the back of her you know and then take the fucking ramps and then stick them up and then winch the commons dumpster onto the back of cunts worthington and i was like well that might be a good idea but it just seems like a lot of work so as i sat there having a few more sips out of the old miller light can i thought to my crippled self i said so you just bought a sea can from the goat down the road he it goat what goat goat he did he goat goat Oh, well, they stop pissing on the old sea can. I figured, why not take the old sea can, load the Cummins dumpster into her, suck her up onto the back, lift the back of the sea can up with the 300, and then just drive her right out onto the back of the Cummins Worthington. I mean, I don't even see any danger in that. So that's what this is gonna do. But uh, first thing we gotta do is a. Uh, an oil change on the auxiliary box on Cunt Worthington. And, uh, well, you're going to find out why. First thing you got to do, we're doing a uh, rebuild on the auxiliary box on the old Cunt Worthington, is go to Princess Auto, get yourself some of these toughest magnets. As many as you can get. Like the whole pile. I use these for, uh, for camera gear around here. What for, uh, you know, they work good. You can stick them to the side of the furred. All you got to do is JB Weld. JB Weld from Princess Auto. Camera gear from Princess Auto. Magnetic thing from Prince Top. They got her all. All right, so you take a bunch of these things and you go ahead and you crawl under this big pile of mint and you take off the door speakers that you had on there before. Ah, we'll leave the door speakers on there. They're doing pretty good. Uh, so we'll take... Willard, fuck off. Fuck off, Pharaoh. Oh, so we'll put the old speakers on, or the magnets on here. Fuck are you guys stunned? So we'll just throw all those there. You may be wondering, Peg, what, what the is that for? Well, I was doing an eviction. Willard, please f off. I was doing an eviction on this uh, this crazy broad out of my buddy's place, and we were pulling a D9 cat. I'm talking like an old uh, I think it's a mid 60s D9 cat. She's proper heavy. You're good. America. And I had to road this pile of mint all the way to Valleyview, Alberta, and then back. And when we pulled this bung out when we got to Valleyview, just to have a little gander and tell uh, what the was going on in there. And just let me tell you this for sweet all. There was a little bit of forbidden glitter frolicking around inside this box. Big time. What we're going to do is ignore that, put all these magnets here, take it for a quick rip. You know, that'll help pull the steel down to the bottom. Get her warmed up a little bit. Drop the oil. Fill a bunch more Lucas in there. A bunch more gear oil. Maybe even can put a port in it so I can put a little extra oil in the old hoor and uh, just give her all the 
fucking way. Because, uh, I mean, why rebuild it when you can rebuild it like this? Let's get this old hoover to fire. What a fucking sweet pile of mint. Well, we got this filthy old pile of K Whopper washed up. Don't want to wash the auxiliary box, anyhow. Alrighty, so I did a real job of washing this thing, but I mean, there's only enough gear oil on there for like three more oil changes. But oh, I think we found a uh, number on the bottom here. And her vagine hang like sleeve of wizard. But if there's any of you empty pricks that actually know what series of auxiliary boxes there is, send me a she-mail at uh, ziptiesandbiasplies.gmail.com and uh, I wouldn't mind getting like the uh, the rebuild book for this or Willard, you're not how Oh, my ribs busted, rib Willard, f*** off. Oh, f*** you stunned. Get out of here. Get. All right, anyhow, so this ox box, I need, I, I, I love this f***ing truck. I love driving it around G-Dale, you know, having a f***ing gay old time. But, I, you know... This auxiliary box, I'm gonna I'm gonna change the oil in it, put some Lucas in the thing, do my best to keep her going for right meow. But I do wanna get this swapped out. So I'm pretty sure it's the overdrive that's in her. What for uh, when you're hauling ass down the highway, you kick her into overdrive, you're doing about 65 mile an hour. It starts to howl and whine like a libtard that doesn't get a welfare check. So I'm pretty sure that's a problem with her, but uh, I'll show you the color of fluid that uh, that comes out of this minty old prick. Let's see what's behind bung number one. I don't think it's gonna be good. As long as there's no chunks, we should be good. Now everybody fucking pray. Willard, pray. Actually, you gotta get. Get out of here. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know what? There's glitter, but there's no chunks. So that's good, actually. It's not coming out of there very fast. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Pervert. But, uh, no, no bull there's not a whole lot of chunks in there. There's definitely some hardware, but no chunks, so that's good. We'll run a magnet in there after we pull them. Ah, well, the chunks might be married to them fucking uh, PTO covers, but we're not going to give up hope just yet. How much metal? Not even that much metal. Fuck yeah. You know what a guy could do? He could to get all the metal out of there, fill this prick full of diesel, and then wheel her over a bunch, and then, uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna top her off with some diesel, let her spin a bunch, and then pull the oil out of it. Yeah, that's a good idea. Good thing hindsight's always 20-20 for sakes. All right, so what we're gonna do is just pack this prick full of some fucking, uh, well, it's already half engine oil, but it's half engine oil, half diesel. I run it in my truck, so I mean, it's good for flushing fucking ox boxes. All right, so, hey, you see, she's already pretty black. Roll them up. Man, what the hell is this, man? Look, a couple of white boys playing black. Is that what's going on? Actually, we were at the geology lab, right, for some environmental stuff. Oh, but I mean, that's fine. All right, all right, we'll rinse her out. What we'll do is we'll fill her right full, and then uh, fire it up. Oh, I guess she's already full. We'll fire it up, and then let her spin for a while, and then uh, shut her back down, drop the fluid again, and uh, hopefully that, that got rid of most eel out of it. And there wasn't as much metal as I thought there was going to be, though. I thought it was a disaster so we might have lucked out I got enough silicone on there to piss the whole internet off. But uh, three Princess Auto magnets, and uh, it's got a bunch of 75 or 85 140 in it with uh, a gallon of Lucas. And uh, yeah, look at the oil that's in there. She's nice and stringy, so that can stick the shit to the blanket, right? Minty. And then uh, the, the oil level used to go to here, so I bushed her up to put a bung in her, so I was able to hook the oil filler in there. So now the oil level's here instead of down here, so it gave her another uh, quarter of a bucket. So that should make this thing happy for a while. I'm, I'm gonna check the oil, see how much metal comes out of her here in a little while, and hope for the best. 
Well, I took her for a rip down the road, and the old, uh, the old four-speed ain't how like she used to. The old fucking Lucas is uh, really coming to life. So let's fuck her back her up, grab the old sea can, and uh, get the load in the old Cummins dumpster. All right, so what we're gonna do is suck the fucking prick up a bit so we can get them blocking under. Can you believe somebody threw these pants out of the dump? Fucker people got a lot of money. So meow, get the chain all dialed in. I'm just gonna kick the fucker off the back, let her rock on the old live roll, and then uh, load the old Cummins dumpster up. Oh, well, maybe a little reverse action here. She's a little bit stuck. There you go, you stupid. Yeah. Now she's dirty dangling. We'll kick her in reverse. Kick road gear out. Yeah. You know, this was somebody else's sea can. You'd never do this. But since it's mine, you just kick the old dog out and then uh, toss her in the gear. Pull her out of gear on the winch. Toss her in road gear. Just pull forward a bit. Let's throw that brake on a wee bit. Yeah, a little less brake. A little more freestyle. And boom! Just drop it right on the ground. You don't need to worry about dropping the fing sea can. Oh, it stinks like goat in here. You know how some guys, you just see them and you know they. Well, that's what was going on with this guy. Guaranteed. Goat. Fucker. He was a genuine goat fucker. So, all right, well, let's get the old Cummins dumpster pulled in here and uh, get her loaded the fuck up. All right, well, let's back the old Cummins dumpster to the sea can. It'll fit. So the old Cummins dumpster ain't no fur by, so we're gonna have to do a little bit of fucking speed here. Oh, I the door. God, son of a bitch. God. burnout in this dirty old sea can but you got to understand over here at zip ties and buy supplies we're very very concerned about safety so what i got here is this dirty old dump hose from the dump is he retarded good night man and i got her spliced up nice and uh i got that hanging in the cab just in case uh things get a little too smoky we're gonna be fine we're all about safety oh yeah we got safety hose Oh, that's safe. All right, let's let it rip.
Plus, he's just f***ing golfing. Oh, the golfing is real. Yeah, like Flynn's f***ing golfing. Golfing. Golfing at the roof with the f***ing door. It was golf. That is the thick f***ing golfing right there. Greasy. Oh, man. That is some serious f***ing golfing. <coughs> All right, so what we're going to do, let that air out for like five or six days and uh, put her back in there. But, I mean, I could not not do a f***ing burnout in there. It's a f***ing sea camp. Creek. Man, that's a back to the future burnout right there. Man. Almost getting rid of the smell of goat here. Almost. What do you think, kid? She's air hard enough, we can pull her back in or what? Oh, yeah. She's f***ing man. Oh, wow. Got rid of some rubber, though. You don't need to worry about f***ing up your sea can floor. Alrighty. Well, we're going to pull her back in there. We're backing her back in. What the f*** happened to the bot? Oh, that must have been from earlier. Yeah, we'll back her back in there. Yeah, we'll be f***ing ready to put her up on the back of the truck. Almost sounds like one of those retard exhaust tips on their sick dope Duramax Cummins with their 85 inch exhaust tip. God, it does sound pretty good though. It sounds like a fing Yeti farting into a trash can, what it sounds like. Well, get your stunned ass out of the way. Alrighty, well, we'll close her up. I know I would tie it down if I gave a f but what do you guys think? Do I give a f? Zero. Alrighty, well, we'll close her up, lock her down, and load her up. It's one of those bass backwards 500 ones. No, I'm saying they're backwards from how they're supposed to be. With the thing in it. Oh, yeah. Alrighty, all locked up. Let's load her on the truck. Alrighty, well, it's the next morning, meow. Got a little procrastinate on the beer drinking, and the well, next thing you know, I didn't get anything done. Now, it's only about another 45 minutes till the guy's got to be there, but I mean, no big deal. Oh, what is procrastination? the uh, front end all lifted there all safety now we'll just lift the back all safely damn i can't see fucking shit out of this thing oh yeah those dump chains are safety rated we're good Soap. Oh, oh shit, I got you good, you fucker. So how many people's cornflakes did I fucking shit in uh, when I said zip ties and buys ply is the most iconic vehicle? And then I had the Cummins dumpster. Oh. Sure isn't the fucking big red Honda. So yeah, like I was saying before, with her stunned, how many f***ing cornflakes bowls got pissed in when I said that uh, the old Cummins dumpster was more iconic, well, than this old pile of shit. <laughs> and what old piece of is that? Well, the one, the f***ing only, the greasiest f***ing pile of shit in this whole pile of yard, Slave Lake. All right, so my Patreons have said about 785 million times that they want to see it. And uh, well, a bunch of other people said they want. Willard, do you fucking mind? Willard, Willard, all right, off. 
All right, so about uh, half the, the internet said they uh, wondering what the is going on. Uh, well, I'm gonna tell you this right now. A whole lot of nothing. She's been sitting here doing all. I haven't done anything with it. I've been doing dirt work and fiddle and all life is throwing an old peg and leg and a few curve balls and all the fiddle let's just put it that way and the whole time all that fiddle was taking place slave lake was sitting right where i parked it right in here i don't remember the last time it was running it has to be oh i don't even know at least a year she was sitting here i threw her a uh, fuel tank that i plan on putting onto her right there that's out of the uh, kodiak septic truck her bumper is uh well it's struggling but uh, you know, I'll just put a weld and that'll put that back on. I haven't cranked it over. I haven't uh, had a gander at it. I got drunk as the one night, believe it or not. Friendly lady, you for a couple drinks? Or fucky the drunk clown. And uh, came down here and put this hubcap over the intake. <laughs> Nothing but preventative maintenance for this pile of shit, but. So I did that. Oh, this is a full can of Cosby sauce. So I did all that, but well, by all that, I mean just put the hubcap. That's a Ford hubcap, by the way. <laughs> Man, put the Ford hubcap on her, said fiddle f it. She was minty as f and that's all I did to it. So uh, let's put a battery in it. I don't know what it has for fuel in it. I'm, I'm going to guess radioactive horse piss because uh, oh, there's another f can of Cosby sauce. I'm going to guess it's got radioactive horse piss in it because that's all I ever put in this piece of shit. And uh, yeah, it, it'll fire on that. We, uh, you know what? We got to go up there and have a gander at what's in this pile of shit for fuel. Oh no, that fuel tank's a hot pile of garbage but look at this return or rest the vent line return lines over there this stuff's pretty sun faded oh I my pants that supply line is pretty kinked off oh the flex pipe exhaust is all up rain cap is still chrome though that's pretty mint all right so let's just see oh no there's no gash in there we're good to go it'll suck through that it'll be fine i think oh yeah oh yeah it'll be mint Remember that when the fuel tank was on the roof and the fuel tank was an air compressor? Man, this rat is struggling. When, I don't even know what the f I was thinking when half of it. Well, I was probably drunk. M maybe I was drunk. What is drunk? Well, we gotta get it a f***ing go. There's no oil in it. It's not a f***ing drop. Like none. So I got some used oil in the shop. We'll pour in the f***ing thing. That's the first time I put oil in this thing and for f***ing ever. I don't even know whether it's a dipstick. I don't even know where that f***ing came from. Alrighty, so we got the finest oil to put back into her. We gotta get her just so she's touching the stick. That's and then uh, that'll be fine. I did an oil change on the wife's sex position there a little while ago. And uh, this is the oil out of it. So I don't like that. I don't even know what kind of oil it is. It might be gear oil. Oh, it is. It's gear oil. That's gear oil. And then you know it. I mean, that oil's good for it. Is she touching the stick yet? No, not even close. Who the f put the dipstick in here? Nothing still. I don't remember when the last time this piece of was running. It's fing bugging me. It's almost like alcohol causes uh memory loss or something like that all right, we're gonna pour it all in there even the chunks on the bottom and then we're just gonna call that good all right is it touching the stick now oh yeah she's running the fucking full mark so it's only down about 10 liters i don't know what that is liter is french for give me some fucking cola before i break moose i don't know how many fucking liters or gallons or whatever this thing holds but that's how much it was down she's fucking mint all right let's put a battery in her so if you're new to the channel this is how she is old slave lake she got her name by, uh, there was a forest fire here a lot of years ago. And when the forest fire was burning in Slave Lake, Alberta, it was smoky. Smoky as f Well, when we first fired this piece of shit up, it was so f***ing smoky, we nicknamed it Slave Lake. Me and my buddy Derek. Oh, that battery cable. But yeah, so if you guys are new to the channel, that's the story behind this hot pile of f***ing shit. It's just f***ing mint though. I love this thing. Before I got all this mint gear and all the rest of this f***ing tree, I used to use this truck for everything dump runs and beer drinking and well pretty much the same thing i used everything for all right so yeah i had this cruise control wire for starting it let's just see if it'll crank now keep in mind i haven't cranked in a while so it might be locked up with water let's see what happens Oh no, she's definitely in gear though. Is that battery a piece of ah, She's in neutral. Let me see here. This battery is already a piece of and I just put it in there. Oh, what the f Is it actually a piece of shit or? What the f is that? Let's just arc it out to the alternator here. Yeah, yeah, there's. Oh. Oh, it's 
the cruise control starting. I guess this battery is a hot piece of She's slim pickings for dumptimas out here. Oh, k whopper have one in it. Is the battery killed? No. Is the battery dead? Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah. Batteries are not dead. They're fing mint. Yeah. I'm gonna put this prick in and get her to go. This truck fired up. I think it was minus 43 or some fing No glow plugs. Up, 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 up. Oh, we got a couple cylinders. You guys hear that? Not even in a battery it was really, it was a dead battery that was in it. It was so f***ing cold that it blew the rear diff seal, rear main seal, it, just a bunch of seals, but uh, that's fine. That's how you know it was f***ing good. Let's, let's just see if it'll crank now. <laughs> kind of a weak f***ing crank. Put the battery pack on it. That starter is also original too. I never f***ing changed that starter. And that f***ing starter has seen all the cold starts. I can't believe it hasn't f***ing burnt out yet. All right, with the jumper pack. <laughs> Oh yeah, she'll start. All right, let's f***ing turn the key on. Is the key already on? Oh yeah, engine lights are on. F yeah. New neutral. We got moss growing on the f***ing floor. Ugh. Alrighty, well, let's see if she f***ing goes. I think it'll just fire right up. It's f***ing Slave Lake for f***ing sake. We're gonna use two cans. Watch, you stick one can in here, and that gives her all the red line. And then the other can, you spray her down her f***ing throat hole. So let's just see if she fires. I think it's gonna fire right the f*** up. <coughs> no problemo. <laughs> How dare you? Comes Miller time. See if this hot pile of fing shit will rocket fire out of here. Oh, there's some dodge underneath it still. Is this fing tree? Yeah, it hasn't been sitting here long enough, it grew into this tree. I clearly hit this fing tree, but it'll wiggle out of here. I'll be fine. All right, well, let's see if she fires up from in the cab. Slave cylinder. Oh, that shit's still mint. It should all be mint. Like, I mean, it's not even that. Thing's been taken care of. Never been bagged on. Ugh, never had a beer drink in it. Let's just see here. Oh man, this brings back memories. Do windshield wipers work? Oh, they don't work. In junk. Let's see. Uh oh, she's cranking pretty 
slow. I think battery connections have been this thing's biggest since day one. I never did fix all. Oh, that was disconnected. That'll probably bring her back. Let's give her a little snort. By a little, I mean all of it. Come on out of here, you pile of shit. Oh, locking up a little. Come on. Oh, yeah. Forward nice here. A little bit of a hole she's in. A little hard to hold her there because over the fing ship being welded up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We got her out of here. Oh. Son of a just slammed into me! No, he didn't slam into you, he didn't bump you, he didn't nudge you, he rubbed you. And rubbing son is racing. Oh, off, Rhonda. Yeah, that well to death. I tell you, she's a fiddler. Had to back over a stinky old Dodge door. Feast your eyes on this hot pile of minty shit. What a treat. So clearly old prick is it needed some attention. Uh, what for, she needs her front bumper back on. She needs a functioning rad. That's probably number one. Probably needs a couple belts, you know, well for nothing, nothing being belts. I might get rid of the old Price is Right death wheel because uh, that's a pretty far piece of shit. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go over the old prick and just give her the old one too because uh, I mean, she deserves it. She's in. When was the last time you guys reckoned this pile of was inside of a shop this thing uh it never really got wrenched on inside anywhere nice it was uh it was out inside same thing with my fat crippled ass we struggled together we're gonna win this tire up too i mean got a little bit of wind here this tire is like brand new shepherds what are you retarded you're retarded all right so what i'm gonna do now is just get rid of this rad support where she's just snip her off there just dial her off here and dial her off here and might angle that make her mint <laughs> What a hot pile of Oh, the wiring harness got a little bit up. No big deal. Oh, that side definitely got a little more, more up. Oh, we just nicked it on that side. We're good. We're golden. All right. Oh, is there still coolant in it? Oh, oh there's something in it. I wouldn't really call that coolant. Oh, it's greasy. I don't think this rad's any good anymore. I think her get up and go has got up and left. It just smelled like, it just smelled like burning. So if you guys are wondering what this Mexican death wheel is, it's uh, I tried to make a pony motor for Slave Lake one time. What for her not cranking fast enough? I mean, instead of changing batteries and doing basic maintenance, I just put this greasy old fucking wheel on here. And I had an old Honda engine welded on the side of her. And then uh, she just gave her all the way and I engaged the belt and well, and things happened. But... All right, this is the fucking setup here. I got the ether can jammed in the throttle. So she's a dual purpose fucking ether can. A freshy pans battery here, rigged up fucking wire to the starter and a greasy old fucking half ass junk fucked up fucking Mickey Mouse fucking pump motor. Let's see if it'll start. All right, let's fucking peg this fucking see if she'll fucking cheat your life. Oh yeah. 
Ah, the brand new belt's on fire, that's fine. All right, we have to straighten this up a little bit. She's a little bit warped. Oh. Oh. Oh, the run out on that's not that bad. Oh, yeah, she's mint. Alrighty, I did not hobble across the yard to go fiddle to go see if it would fit, but I'm pretty sure this is how she goes. You got one pulley, or one belt goes here, and this guy tightens this after you tighten the alternator, which is a hot pile of fiddlers. And then you got this guy that pulls on this guy. You're supposed to have two on there, but this pulley's pretty ratched and I don't want to be greedy. So I think this is how she goes. She should be mint. I've got it. <laughs> you want us to twist what is long with our sensitive hand. He wants us to him off. Well, I drank myself into a good sleep last night. It was a f***ing gooder. We're back at her this morning. Um, I was hobbling around trying to fiddle a rad for this pile of I bought three rads, three intercoolers from the auction. I don't know what the f*** they were out of until I uh, got to dig and I guess they're out of uh I guess they're out of a school bus a bunch of school buses I bought three rads three intercoolers and uh all the riggins for ten dollars from the fucking Richie Bros auction so I wanted to use this fucking rad because it's fucking huge and it's uh coated in steel but then I stuck this fucking rad in there and uh, it kind of fits so what we're gonna use is whatever the fits so uh we're gonna fiddle out of the spot it is six quarter after six in the morning and we do have to have this old pile of ready for uh i'm gonna be there at nine so i got a lot of fiddle to get done in a short amount of time so it's pretty much whatever's gonna fit is whatever she's gonna get Alrighty, so this is one of those two birds stone with the same joint scenario she had the fucking rad hose in her before and about uh 20 inches of it was uh solid saskatchewan roll chrome every time it would hit the alternator it would just fuck it up so now it, it'll hit the alternator all day if it wants it won't even fuck it up because now she's made out of steel and uh i was figuring you know I need a good rad and this, that, and the other. And we didn't have one. So I had a old power smoke rad. And this one's sitting here sidewards. And it's There's definitely a bunch of holes in this side. But I figure if this side's up and the fucking coolant level's right there, two things we don't have to worry about. A rad cap, because we don't have to purge off pressure when there's giant holes in it. And uh, I'm just going to put rags underneath it and fucking hose clamp her up and say, F it. So we're good to go. It's going to be uh, kind of odd welding on Slave Lake with a welder that's not powered by radioactive horse pests. I mean, we're getting uppity in my old Age. Alrighty, well, Slave Leg has got the fucking mintiest welds going now. We've got a proper rod mount, proper fucking electrical rigging. So the electrical's the dual action. Eh? She's a buffer for the rad and it's electrical. So it's good to go. It's not a dodge. It's not going to fucking spontaneously burst into fucking flames. Family was shopping when they say their pickup truck just burst into flames. Are you kidding? Look at this. Well, I was welding that. It really made me fucking think. When I had this old piece of shit on the road, not those welds, but these ones, I welded this up with a flux core welder. I, I had this old prick on the road. She was minty as fuck. I made this uh, back fucking piece, whatever the fuck you want to call it, out of a uh, forklift extension. But yeah, I welded this fucking old piece of shit up, and all my welds are still holding. I mean, they look like they could trick or treat over the fucking phone, but uh, they held. The proof of the pussies in the fucking man. This truck got some history. I love this old piece of shit. Oh, I'm making a new leg out of that. Man. Yeah, bud. That just looks right, you know? Oh, yeah. This guy looks good. Well, it looks like absolute shit, but I think it looks good. I can bring you back some old memories here. I don't know what the fuck I had going on here. I, I must have been fucking drunk when I welded this up, but I'm going to re weld it up, but I might cut it a little shorter. I don't get it. But yeah, we're just going to weld her right back on to where she come off. Because fuck it. Oh, fuck yeah, bud. What a Three. Oh, we forgot here. Is this? We got this dingle. Oh yeah. Does the hood prop still or the hood latch still work? Oh, like a glove. Yeah. Mint. Alrighty. Well, there you can go. So while I was welding her bumper back on, doing a real good job of it, I was thinking to myself, I'm like Peg, are you getting fucking uppity in your old age where you're starting to use prop shit and make sure everything's fucking mint and uppity and headedy and the rest of the fancy words? And I was like, well, you know. Half of this shit I'm welding on here is from the dump. And well, back in the day, 90% of Slave Lake was made from the dump. So it's really fucking nice to know that uh, I haven't lost my roots, you know? Take a feather's fucking leg, take a feather's fucking looks, take his hair off the fucking top of his head. But at least the feather's got his fucking roots. And you know, that's something to stand on, one legged like. He'd always stop right there and say, That's something to be proud of. Cause like, look, look at this shit. We got, we got railroad fucking bikes. 
and weld it in there. Oh, real hot. Let's see, let's see how. Oh, that's good and hot still. We uh, dialed her frame back together a little bit. Oh, that's a an Instagram weld right there. We got her dialed right in. We got dump chain welded in there. Well, that was on there before, but we welded her up. Fucking dialed her in. Fucking, she's good to go to the races. Last night, we're having a few beers, just admiring this hot piler. I uh. Had a little gander at her fuel. And I'll let you guys have a little gander here. Look at this nightmare. Come on, come on out of there. You want me to coax you out with a peanut? Oh yeah. Uh, but it's not water, and that's all Slave Lake gives a f about. Well, I guess that was water, and it drank that yesterday. But the smell of the fuel in there. I gotta explain to you guys. It just, it just smelled like really, really old fucking gas. So that's probably because that's what it is. And then the latte cans and Cosby sauce is just getting real in here. Let's see how she cranks me out with a half charged battery. Oh, she's still in gear again. Oh yeah, she'll f***ing crank right up. I'm gonna tie this ratchet strap up here. It's orange for safety. I mean, Princess Auto had them on sale, but like, it was like an eight pack or some f***ing shit for uh, it was like 40 bucks for eight of these minty f***ing things. I use these f***ing for everything. There, load secured, minty. All right, we got that all dialed in. We're gonna have a look at her fuel level here. There's an old Chevy gas tank. Mint. Let's smell. Oh, f that reek. Smells like somebody's shit in the locker. Let's see here. Uh, that's a good pry bar. Let's just sneak her on down in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is fucking gnarly. Look at the color of this, shit. but it still kind of smells like old gas. So we're good. Played like love running off of that. Shit. It's gonna be the first time she's ran with belts in forever. Getting uppity. Oh, let's keep that hubcap. You ain't getting no fucking air cleaner. I tell you that for f all. Let's see here. Meow. This bumper is a lot like the Fig Newton sticker on Ricky Bobby's car. It's fucking min. I sure love it, but it is dangerously inconvenient. But I do love Fig Newton. She should just dial right up. You guys ready? <laughs> oh. oh, you fucking Mickey Mouse piece of we got to see if the old is charging. Yeah, she is. What a loyal pile of mint. Just feast your eyes on those fucking hard how dare you's in the sunrise. Just fucking beautiful. Oh. This old fucking truck was here before. Oh, it's got power steering again. This old pile of shit was here before anything else. Uh oh. Oh, remember how I said I was gonna do the brakes? I lied. But she's running just sassy after that tune up we did. I mean, we did nothing to the motor. But she's running. All right, you guys gotta see this dangerous fucking disaster. So I had her plugged in and uh, I was fiddle fucking with this rad hose or this heater hose and it was moving around doing its thing. And I think down here, this fucking wire, I think, I think this is what it was, grounded out to the solenoid wire and it was cranking it trying to, what are the chances of that? Slave Lake, you trying to rip my arm off, you fucking piece of shit. Yeah. Well, it's full. Let's see how long that lasts. It's probably gonna be a lot like the old lady. It's gonna need three pumps before it gets going. All right, she's got no brakes. F it. Does that look like no brakes to you? Yeah. Ah, f it. Let's take it for a rip.
her up. Kiddo, you sold him that piece of shit. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Oh! <coughs> wow. That's the last time you run that mechanical hole in here without an exhaust hose. No, it won't work. I need ladybugs. Do you want it in the box? No, what I want is for you to give me two smokes right now because you're so fucking stupid. Now that's GDL most iconic fucking bird right here. There's not even giant holes all over the radiator. Those are good holes. Speed holes. All right. We're all slave leg. She's a little heat soaked, but from bagging it. So we're gonna fucking hook the chain on to her and just pull her out of the deck. Can run the cable underneath, kick the sea can back off, and uh, it should be mint. Hey, hey, be careful with that. You got it, Pontiac! Nailed it! Mm. All right, well, we got like 10 minutes to get there and 15 minute drive, so let's roll. Lined up minty. Little slave lake just looking just fucking mint. Alrighty, we got second place out of all these minty floats. I bet that Mary Grovedale got first with his fancy pants shirt. Alrighty, we're parading. I think it's probably gonna start heating up that path the old drag car. You gotta love the smell of horse and race gas. It's a good mix. Hey buddy, nice mullet! Ah. bring you minty pricks along on the parade of G-Dale, Alberta. I fucking love this place. Proud as fuck to call it home. And uh, yeah, I figured I'd bring you guys along on the old parade. Show off old Slave Lake. I mean, those are the two minty trucks I got. So figure I'd throw them in the old parade. But like I was saying before, I'd just like to show you guys uh, how proud I am about my community out here in G-Dale. Like I said, I'm proud to hang my hat here. It's nice to see that uh, places like this in the world aren't dead. I've made trips to cities before and all the rest of this stuff. And let me tell you, if you pull over to help somebody with a flat tire or something wrong on the side of the highway in a big city, you end up getting run over, f***ed over. So, so it's really sweet to live in a f***ing place that's uh, still minty as like this. Grovedale put on one hell of a show for the uh, grub, the home cooked meals and the loads of ladies dialing everything together for everybody. The dessert was good, the drinks were good, they had a live band which is f***ing minty as shit. and all the kids are running around having a good time. But yeah, if you guys want to leave a comment down in the shit talker as to how f***ing minty your little town is, I'd like to f***ing read it. Because between politics, forest fires and all the fiddle f that seems to be unfolding, it's nice to be reminded that minty places like this are still alive and well. Alrighty, well, I appreciate all you minty mouse breathing boys for watching this derelict production. Oh. Willard, do you want a Miller? 
Is it Willard Miller time? Willard, want some of that? How dare you? That's good stuff. Well, I just want to say thank you all you made these pricks for sticking around to watch this. It was uh, it's always a good time making it, and uh, yeah, burn out some fiddle f***ing around, always a good time. And yeah, it, pulling Slave Lake out of the old woodworks was a uh, long time coming, I gotta, I gotta f***ing agree. I got some plans for that old pile of so uh, why don't you stick like to a blanket to the stupid f***ing channel and uh, find out what happens to her. But more than anything, I'd like to thank all my minty f***ing patreons for sticking around like to the old blanket, because my fat f***ing crippled ass has been going through some f***ing rowdy shit lately, and all you minty f***ing patreons stuck like to the blanket. Mint. Um, I did ask the, the Patreon. What is, why the fuck you follow me around? I did ask all the Patreon there for sending me clips. So what? What I'd ask from them if they could send me fucking clips of uh, them doing different America fucking things. So this is what it's got to have. Your Patreon of mine, post in the fucking uh, comment section in the old uh, in the old Patreon link, or post a fucking comment in the Patreon comment section. And basically, so what I'm fucking looking for, it's got to have two things. It's got to have you doing something America, like hanging out with your grandpa with his war medals or fucking doing a rowdy bird out doing something fucking mint not illegal don't fucking get caught doing something stupid and then you gotta yell america at the fucking end so it's gotta be badass you gotta fucking give her all the way and uh i'll put her in each one of my videos so me and my buddy kevin are going through them all and fucking figuring out what's mint and what the fuck we can put into what so the more you guys send us the fucking mintier it is so yeah burnouts all whatever you fucking consider to be america you standing in front of an american flag shotgun of the beer america but you gotta yell america and you gotta fucking give her all the way oh and anybody that's fucking been uh buying flags or shirts or stickers or any of that fucking shit, we appreciate the shit out of it send me a uh send me a message on the instagram or whatever the fuck you bought whether it's a flag or a shirt or whatever the fuck it is and uh stand by your hot rod or in your shop or whatever the fiddle fuck. and uh, i'll throw it up on the instagram and the story thingy but until the next derelict fucking production you guys keep out your fucking ass oh and don't worry next vid y'all and uh, I'll shout all you minty pricks out. I haven't forgot about you. Fuckers. I just uh, I wanted to get this thing uploaded for Friday night.